Hey guys, welcome back to Board and to AI. In this today's video, we will dive into a critical topic that's affecting millions of people worldwide. We are going to explore the dramatic effect of AI on the job market, focusing on how seven million jobs, seven million jobs vanished overnight. Uh, but don't worry, we'll break it all down and discuss what this means for the future of work and the economy. Before I start, a brief intro about me. I'm Varnit, the founder of Flourish.ai, an AI consulting and development agency. If your business needs help with AI, the link is in the description below. Recently, Alexander Madre, the head of preparedness at OpenAI, released a thought-provoking podcast where he spoke with a leading economist, Eric, a professor at Stanford University, that covered some essential topics that shed light on the evolving landscape of AI and its economic impact. Very important concept there about AI being not the substitute but complement. Yes. So, and you talk about things like Turing trap. So, could you tell us more about? Yeah, that thank you for highlighting this because I think probably the biggest misconception that that I run to, you know, as an economist, is this assumption that AI is going to take all the jobs and that AI is a perfect substitute for humans. And it's true that sometimes AI does substitute for people, um, but more often than not, it ends up being a complement. Uh, substitute is when something replaces something. Complement is when it makes it more valuable. If you look at through most of history, technologies have been both, but the more important thing has been AI as a complement. And, and one way to see that is that think of how valuable is one hour of human labor? It's gotten more and more valuable over time. You know, in 1700, it really wasn't that valuable. In 1800, 1900, today it's more valuable than ever before. Why? Because it is complemented with technologies. You know, if you're digging a ditch, you have a bulldozer or a steam engine that can that can lift things. Um, if you're writing software, you have uh, computers that can write, help you create software faster than ever. So. An hour of labor can create far more value than before because of these technological complements. It's also true for AI that in most businesses, um, like in the call center example, you get more value by using the AI to complement human workers than trying to replace it. And part of that is because brilliant as, as, as the machine learning folks are, they haven't been able to make machines that can do the full set of things that humans can do. And so typically um, when you're trying to solve a problem, uh, AI can do parts of it, but humans are still needed for other parts of it. Like in the call center example, we looked at all the different call questions that were asked, and there's some questions that are asked very frequently, like, how do I change my password? You know, how, I'm locked out. Um, and there are other questions, there's this long tail of questions that only appear once in the data, you know, some complicated tax question or something that just has never been seen before. Um, it turns out, not surprising that machine learning is good at things where there's a lot of data. You need data to do machine learning. So those common questions, they have some really good crisp answers for. But that long tail of unusual questions, AI, machine learning can't help much with those. As Eric explained, AI can handle repetitive and, ta and data heavy tasks, but it still struggles with unique complex issues. This means AI is not a perfect substitute for human, but rather a powerful complement. Imagine calling a customer service line. Guys, imagine calling a customer service line and common question you will get like, how do I change my password? Can be handled by AI, but unusual complex in questions still needs human intervention. This dynamic is essential to understanding AI's role in the workspace. So basically AI enhances productivity, making human labor more valuable. In 1700, an hour of labor wasn't worth much, but today with technological advancement, it's more valuable than ever. In most businesses, AI works best when it complements human worker. This energy is crucial as AI continues to evolve. Sure of like what are the right jobs to be in mm -hmm. uh, during the, the you know this AI transformation. So my uh, yeah. both of my daughters they soon will enter high school, and I'm really at loss. What should I advise them? Yeah. Like what career to pursue them? So what would be your advice here? Well. My advice is be careful about any advice from me because, <laughs> because it's just tricky. I, I'm becoming humble. In the second machine age, I had this uh, vision, like a lot of people did, but I, I kind of, uh, you know, Andy McAfee and I wrote about it, where technology was good at sort of routine, repetitive tasks and more creative work. That was something that humans were better at and more interpersonal work was something that humans were better at. And I think that was kind of true then and was true for a number of years. But now LLMs and generative AI is uh, is flipping that around, and a lot of creative work can now be done by machines, or you know, somewhat creative and increasingly creative. Well, I don't know. So my new advice is be flexible. I mean, is 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 that um, you know, be ready to to make changes 
and uh, don't get locked in. Don't think that, okay, I'm going to be a coder or I'm not going to be a coder or I'm going to be an English major, you know, that um, be adaptable. And I think that that may be where humans have an advantage. I was having a conversation with Reed Hoffman the other day and we were talking about this, you know, I mentioned this long tail of tasks that humans... And I do want to say that his advice here is actually the same advice I've given in my community. And one of the frameworks that I've actually developed and worked on for quite some time, one of the things that we talk about is being adaptable slash agile. And this is really important because as I've said before, the future landscape is uncertain and it's dynamic, meaning that, you know, the future area where you might think that this area or this career is going to be 100% certain and it's never going to be automated away, you know, you have to be open at least somewhat to the possibility of being dynamic. So by that, you know, you should be focusing on what strengths you have, what weaknesses you have, what areas you're comfortable in, of course, what industries are going to be expanding that have complementary skills. These are kinds of some of the things that I've been looking at, some of the things that I've been talking about with my community. And it's refreshing to hear that this perspective is reiterated by someone who holds a major position when it comes to evolving the discourse on how economics and AI is going to evolve. And whilst yes, the perspective of changing entire careers might seem daunting at first, I think the nature of humans is to be very adaptable. And I do think most humans can adapt well if given enough time. With the job market in flux, flexibility can help you navigate changes and seize new opportunities. Let's talk about a headline that caught everyone's attention, 7 million. 7 million rideshare drivers jobless overnight as China's autonomous cars take over. But while the title exaggerated, it highlights a real concern. Autonomous vehicles are gradually being introduced and this will impact rideshare drivers over time. China's Apollo Go is leading the charge with fully driverless vehicle in certain districts. This shift is a clear indicator of the future where autonomous vehicle could become the norm. So what is the key takeaway here? Don't bury your head in the sand. Pay attention to changing industry and prepare yourself for the future. Universal basic income is a proposed solution to job displacement caused by AI. Sam Altman of OpenAI has invested millions into studying UBI, emphasizing its potential to provide a financial safety net. UBI could help mitigate the economic impact of AI, allowing individuals to pursue meaningful activities and reduce financial stress. Well, while UBI is still being tested, the conversation around it is gaining traction. It's essential to explore the solution as we navigate the economic shift caused by AI. And basically, yeah, integrating AI into the workforce needs careful consideration. A company tried to give AI agents employees records, but human worker rejected it, feeling devaluated. Balancing AI's efficiency with human value is crucial. As AI advances, companies must find ways to integrate it without undermining their human employees. So basically, in conclusion, while AI is transforming the job market, it's not all doom and gloom. By staying informed, adaptable and proactive, we can navigate the new landscape and find the opportunities for growth. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.